Hello, I'm Crypto Diamond, and today's video is on the Quent Network. I got this project from one of my friends in the Discord community, and I took a look at this project, and I really like what it's about. So what Quent Network is, is it aims to solve interoperability issues using Overledger, an application programming interface API gateway that supports several distributed ledgers. Um, but if we want more information, let's come over to the homepage, quant.network, and here we are, guys. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm Hopefully, I'm not butchering the name of this project, um, but quant is how I know how to say this. And as you see on the webpage, the future of finance today, there is a lot of information on here. I won't be able to go over all of it in the video, but we'll get able to hit some of the main points about this project and why I think it's going to be a great investment for 2022-2023. So we're not even going to click on any of these tabs as of right now. Um, so let's scroll on down a little bit further into the homepage. Unlocking the power of blockchain for everyone. We deliver interoperable ecosystems and real-world solutions that lower costs, enable new business, and mitigate risk. This is something you want to look for in blockchain technology because we're trying to advance the future and, and program new things. And this is something I see in Quant is that it looks like they're striving to keep up the date and go be above and beyond in the technology and the risk side of the investment here. So an empowered, interconnected world. We serve banks, asset managers, and other financial institutions, enterprises, and the technology partners and fintech developers who support them. So fintech does support this project. Um, you can go a little bit further into that in these tabs as well. So there is some big influencers and backing behind this project as well. Um, some good articles on Cointelegraph and Medium. And I'm going to put all these articles in this description of this video when I post it online for your viewing as well. So they broke down in a little tree here. So financial institutions, enterprises, partners, and developers. So for financial institutions, bank, investment firms, and other financial institutions are harnessing blockchain to exchange information and assets more securely and cost-effectively. And this is true for credit cards as well, like Visa, MasterCard. I know Visa was dabbling around with XRP payments in the past. I don't think anything happened with XRP and Visa, but they were experimenting or talking about trying to do something similar to this. Um, making transactions cheaper, faster. It's not just for crypto, it's for banking, just in life in general. Getting payments to different countries without having to pay the high fees or the long wait periods. Um, like I have staff that, that work with me that live in the UK and I have to pay them in pounds. So if I pay them through PayPal in the US, it takes about a week for that to actually process from US dollar to the to the net to their national pound or whatever the currency is called there. I believe it's called the pound. But this aims to actually make that a faster transaction and a cheaper one in the fees on top of that. And I do like that because I like paying some of the people I work with in pounds. And then there's enterprises. Blockchain enables companies operating in multiple markets to exchange information and assets more securely and cost effectively for uses as varied across border payments supply chain challenges or raising capital so as you can see it's also used for the enterprise purpose of building a business and helping raise capital to keep that business going and they also have the partners whether you're a platform provider an independent software vendor or a technology consultant chances are your clients are drawn to the benefits blockchain promises but daunted by the complexity and specialist knowledge required to realize them and we're here to help and that is a huge issue because not everybody is going to know how to use blockchain i mean sure you can give grandma a metamask wallet but she's not going to know how to access it or how to make the exchanges um some people do need to learn and it is not simple it's been a four-year learning process for me as well there's been people that have been here a lot longer than me and they know a lot more than i do and even with my four years of knowledge in crypto space i still feel kind of like infants in the infancy of knowledge of what's actually the abundance of crypto out there but i do try to keep myself educated on a daily basis to stay up to date with what's going on because as the technology is also being advanced, so are the scammers. And scammers have been getting more technologically advanced as crypto has been getting advanced. I'm not saying it's because of crypto, but as long as there's something with money value, there's always going to be somebody that's trying to steal it. And Quant does offer the security for that as well. And that's one thing I do like about the Quant is the security behind it. And then developers. Uh, this is also big for the developers. I did go ahead and make a developer uh, profile for you guys on the testnet because if you want to go outside sandbox into the actual production it does require a kyc process and a hundred pounds if you want to go ahead and get that set up a hundred pounds is kind of cheap honestly but it is part of the identity check if you want to go ahead and proceed on the developer side of the quant network but you can go ahead and take kind of a view of it in the sandbox mode as you see right here i can toggle between sandbox and mainnet um as of right now there is no applications gateway keys or wallets in here but this is what it would look like in the production mode if you were to go ahead and use it for production and development just so you guys can have a basic idea of what you're going to be seeing when you go in there 
All right, and then we come down a little bit further, create value, risk, cost, and mitigate risk. And they have these little tabs here, which are kind of cool. You scroll over them and they bring up little facts you can go over. Um, it does keep me wanting to go down this webpage even further. All right, here we have capital markets. Assets of all kinds, both physical and digital, are being tokenized. Issuers are gaining access to entire new pools of liquidity, while investors are diversifying their portfolios in ways they can only dream of a few years ago. And this is really true. I don't know how many of you have ever seen the Algorand wallet. I mean, I know they changed it to something else. But uh, about three years ago, I downloaded the Algorand wallet to hold my Algo token. And they, you can see to mini tokens of major companies inside that wallet, such as Tesla, Google, Amazon, and major companies. So you can see that crypto corporations were already playing with the idea of tokenizing physical stocks into the crypto world. Uh, I do see this becoming mainstream because honestly, it's going to save money and time just transitioning the stock market to a tokenized market because instead of buying a whole part of a share, say I can't afford a whole part of whatever share I want to buy. It could be a, an expensive share of something, maybe a $500 to $1,000 share, but I have enough to buy a portion of it. In a traditional stock market, you can't do that. You have to buy the whole share. Um, but with crypto and tokenization of the market, you could buy a micro portion of that share, which is the same thing as holding a portion of a crypt of a Bitcoin. So saying you hold a Satoshi of a Bitcoin doesn't mean you necessarily hold the whole Bitcoin, but you hold a portion of it and you can still make an investment off that. And this is what tokenizing the market is going to do or what I believe it's going to do in the future. And it does help diversify portfolios because not only can you invest in crypto and traditional stocks but you eventually you should be able to invest in both of them in the same place and i see crypto combining both these worlds together for one huge financial powerhouse and then payments cross-border payments whether in digital currencies or fiat currency are more flexible and secure when handled over blockchain and a lot of people think that scams can be pulled on blockchain but every transaction has an id and that ID goes everywhere. You may not always be able to find the person that hacks you, but you'll always be able to trace the transactions that have happened. Digital currencies. Central banks across the world are investigating the adoption of digital currencies, the CBDC. And while commercial entities are issuing their own stable coins and often a great acclaim. So central banks across the world are investigating the adoption. This has been known about since 2019. Um, we've all, in Ripple, XRP, you've seen them trying to dabble in banking and credit cards as well. So we've already known that adoption of cryptocurrencies has been going on. So this is nothing new over here. Compliance. Blockchain can make the analysis of transaction patterns easier for tax authorities, regulatory bodies, and responsible institutions, and it can be used to simplify self-declarations, enforcement, or anti-money laundering oper operations. So all of these actually do apply, but it's taking us off topic of what Quaint actually is. So let's get back into here, and this is one article I want to show you guys before we go over into the, um, the white paper here. So FinTech Circle names Quaint a FinTech for good company, and seeing that right there, adds to my positivity that this is a great investment you can you can always lose money in any in any investment but i do see this one as a safer investment i'm not going to see this as a rug pool i haven't seen an audit but i do have all the information and they have been around for a while and they're trusted by coinbase to know that this is not going to be a rug pool project but with any investment you always want to weigh your risk so a new film produced by itm business premiered at london's fintech Connect event last month, commissioned by the UK's number one fintech community. The fintech circle and documentary highlights fintech firms having a positive impact on the world, including Quant Network. So if you guys want to read more into this, I'm going to be putting this article in the video as well. So let's scroll on over to the white paper. The white paper is huge and it's a great read. If you want to go over and read the white paper, I'm going to put all of this in the video as well. The introduction, the overledger, an operating system for interconnected DLTs, security developers enterprise, overledger gateways, and OVN gateway operator guide. Everything the developer is going to need to know and how to get started in the Quaint network. And there's also the Medium article, Value Beyond Speculation, and Why Quaint Has Potential to Be the Incredible Long-Term Investment, like I was saying pretty much for this entire video. So this is a great read if you guys want to read over. It is about 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast you read to read over this. And it is really informative, but not quite as informative as the Coin Telegraph version, because I swear to God, they put the whole white paper in this article. Coin Telegraph, I'd like to give you a shout out. You guys did an amazing job of covering what Quaint Network is really about. And I hope you, the viewer, actually get a chance to read this article as well. So if you have any questions about what Quaint Network is about, feel free to reach out to me on the Crypto Diamond Twitter, Crypto Diamond Telegram, or the Crypto Diamond Discord. And I'll also be putting all the Quaint communities into this video as well. So if you have any questions for Quaint, you can go ahead and reach out to them as well. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day trading. Goodbye.